Good morning, everyone. One of the most universally recognizable Jewish symbols is the Star of David, which is, of course, on the Israeli flag. And most synagogues or Jewish institutions have a Magen David, a Star of David, somewhere or in multiple places. And many people wear the Star of David as a necklace. What is the meaning behind the Star of David? This week's Torah portion is Kedoshim. A matter of fact, it is an extension of the Ten Commandments. All of the Ten Commandments can be found in this week's Torah portion, but in greater detail. But the opening commandment says, you shall be holy. And the question is, what does it mean to be holy? How can we, physical human beings, be holy? We usually think of God as being holy, but how can we be holy? And the answer in Judaism is surprising. In Judaism, it's not about isolating yourself from this world or being a recluse or detaching from the physical world. It's about bringing God into our day-to-day -day lives. And that's why most of the commandments in this week's Torah portion are about interactions, civil interactions, man and fellow man, justice in the, in, in, in the courtroom, being honest, honoring your father and mother. Most of the commandments have to do with day-to-day -day life, not pertaining to prayer or a Torah study. Because holiness is when we bring God into our daily lives and elevate our, our lives to a higher plane. And that's why on Friday night we have Kiddush. Kiddush means holy. We sanctify the meal by declaring God as the creator of heaven and earth and resting on the seventh day of Shabbat. Shabbat, when we go to the synagogue, we don't have lunch, we have Kiddush, holiness. Any physical activity like eating or drinking can be elevated through a higher spiritual consciousness. And that's what it means to be holy. Every day, live with that spiritual connection to God. And that's what the Magen David is all about. You see, the Star of David is two inverted triangles, one pointing heavenward and one pointing earthbound. And the two of them coming together and the Star of David represents the mission of the Jew in this world to point an arrow towards heaven, to elevate this world and all of our mundane activities to a higher meaning and a higher purpose and consciousness. And then to the second arrow from heaven down to earth to draw down a slice of heaven on earth. The Star of David is the marrying, the kissing, the merging of heaven and earth in our day-to-day -day lives through acts of goodness, kindness, righteousness, spirituality, faith, and connection to God. Every activity can be elevated. On October 7th, tragically, so many innocent people were killed, men, women, and children. And many of them were heroic in their efforts to save lives. But the most fascinating story that I heard perhaps is about an 85-year-old man whose name was Shlomo Ron. Shlomo Ron was at home on Simchat Torah morning, Shabbat morning with his wife Chana, his daughters and his grandson. And when they heard the terrorists penetrate, infiltrate the kibbutz Nachal Oz, and they were going from house to house, he told his wife, take the children, our daughters and our grandson and take them into the safe room and lock the doors. And he said, I'm gonna sit in the living room. So when the terrorists come in, hopefully they'll just kill me and think there's no one else in the house and they'll move on and your lives will be spared. They begged him to come into the safe room, but he refused. And so they locked themselves in the safe room. He sat down on his armchair with his cane, with no ammunition, no means of defending himself. And sure enough, a few moments later, the terrorists came into the house. They saw an elderly man on a cane sitting on his sofa and they shot him in cold blood and thinking he was the only one in the home, moved on to the next home. All day long, multiple terrorists came into the house, and when they saw him lying there, tragically dead, they assumed there was nothing more to do in this house and moved on to the next house. It was only in the evening, Saturday evening, 12 hours later, that the IDF came to the house and rescued Hannah, her daughters, and her grandson. And this entire family says, our grandfather, our father, our, my husband, saved this entire family. And how did he do it? By sitting in a chair and just waiting. The most passive action, just sitting in a chair to be the greatest act of Kiddush Hashem, of self-sacrifice, of heroism, 
of sanctification of God's name, to selflessly submit and surrender your life out of love for your family. His heroism continues to inspire all of us. Not, God forbid, to ever have to die in sanctification and holiness, but to live every moment, whether we're sitting on a couch, whether we're walking in the street, whether we're having a conversation, as it says in the Shema, you shall love the Lord your God and, and meditate on the words of Torah when you're sitting in your house, when you're going on the way, when you lie down, when you wake up in the morning, every moment of our lives to be elevated for a higher meaning, a higher purpose, a connection, a merging of heaven and earth. Have a wonderful day.